Hey everyone, I'm Brock. I'm Dan. And we're part of the Hillspring Church team. Yeah, so after about six and a half years of working by myself in my office, I've had the joy of gathering a team together. Brock has been brought on as an intern recently, getting experience in ministry in a number of different areas of the church. Mm. Uh, Christy has been brought on to help us in the area of connections, just helping people get really connected into the life of the church. And as you know, Christine, Christine is a, has been a team member for a number of years now, uh, helping in the area of music. Mm-hmm. And so it's been really fun actually gathering together on Thursdays in my kitchen, as you can see. Um, to work as a team and For to not sure. be alone anymore. So on these team days, we gather together to talk about what's happening in the church, as well as to prepare for Sundays and do a weekly recap. But also one of the most important things that we do is pray for the church and pray for each other. Yeah, we want you guys to know if you're listening that uh, every Thursday we set time aside to make sure that as we become aware of things that are happening in your lives, uh, we gather together and we pray for you and for the church. So one of the other things we felt would be valuable was to start these new podcast episodes slash video discussions. We're, these are going to be available on Apple Podcasts as well as the Hillspring Church app, and the videos will be available on YouTube and Instagram. The whole focus here is to make these short five to eight minute videos where we recap what we talked about on Sunday and also address some new questions and hopefully some questions that you guys might have. What we don't want these podcasts to be is really us just spewing information at you or speaking from what we consider our depths of wisdom, which I don't have anyways. Mm -hmm. We really want to just go back to the teaching that we looked at on Sunday morning and ask some questions and be reminded about what God is trying to say to us in the middle of our week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it's going to be nice to have these kind of midweek episodes that people can tune into because obviously the work week gets intense sometimes and busy, and sometimes we lose track of what's important. So I think these will hopefully be helpful uh, for you guys as they will. Yeah, and we're going to keep them short, so five to eight minutes, and maybe it'll be helpful as you're you know, riding the GO train into the city uh, to throw them on and be reminded about you know, what God is saying to us as a church. If you guys have any topics or questions that you want us to cover in these short videos, definitely email us at connect at hillspringchurch.org, and we will take those topics into account. Recently, what we've been doing on Sunday mornings has been walking through what are called epistles, which were essentially letters that were written during the first century to communities of people who had responded to the message of Christ, uh, teaching them how to live their lives in light of all that God had revealed in Jesus, which was essentially that God had extended forgiveness to the world through Christ based on his mercy alone. He's a loving God. And that God had revealed the truth to the world through Christ. So all of his divine intent for humanity, his character was fully revealed in the person of Jesus so that uh, all who would humble themselves and and accept that truth instead of being the authority of their own lives Mm -hmm. could actually be saved from their sins and restored back into the people that God had created us to be in the first place. Absolutely. Yeah. And this Sunday we dove into the letter of Galatians specifically. And so we're just going to talk a little bit about that and to see if there's any questions that might be arising on that. Yeah. The the main focus of Galatians that we talked about on Sunday, and I want to encourage you to go back and listen to the teaching. This isn't going to be a time where we want to rehash the teaching or even give you a Coles Notes uh, version to give you a simple way not to engage in the teaching. But the main thrust of Galatians was that Paul was cautioning a specific group of believers uh, in an area of the world to really be careful about the types of teachings they allowed to influence their lives. Mm -hmm. And the problem was that the teaching that was spreading in that area was actually what he called a different gospel or a false gospel. And even though it sounded like truth, the, the, the makeup of it or the things that it called them to do denied what, had got, what God had revealed to the world through Christ. Mm-hmm. And so instead of accepting the grace of God, just accepting that God is a loving God who forgives people's sins because of his mercy, not because of anything we had done, the gospel that was spreading in that area was calling people to do things to... to uh, participate in certain customs in order to work out their salvation or to earn their salvation or earn yeah. God's forgiveness. Yeah. And, and and as you can see, those are complete opposites. Either God gave us his forgiveness because he's a merciful God, which is the truth, mm-hmm. or you know we have to earn it ourselves, which is not the truth. But the moment that we blend the two together is when we have a problem. Mm-hmm. And Paul was really concerned about that. Yeah, and I think a lot of these false gospels we'll, we will even see in our day. And so it's really important to discern and make sure that what we are listening to 
Is it focused on Christ or is it focused on self? On Sunday, we actually walked through and identified a number of uh, false teachings or different gospels that exist in popular Christianity today that, that sound like they're Christian messages, but if you really get into them, they're actually denying what God had accomplished through Jesus. For sure. And so what that means is that we need to be extremely careful just because someone is a popular teacher, just because there's a book that's been written under the umbrella of Christianity, um, it doesn't mean we should consume it. In fact, we should be really careful about the things that we consume or the messages that we listen to, because we live in a day and age where there are more messages spreading throughout the world than there ever has in history. Mm -hmm. And so we need to know the gospel, that God forgives us by His mercy, that God has extended truth through Jesus alone, Mm -hmm. and, uh, and weigh everything that we're listening to against that. The truth is, maybe you've avoided Christianity because of a message that's been blasted at you throughout your whole life. Mm -hmm. And if you were to actually know Christ and what God had revealed through Christ, you might also come to the realization that some of the things that were being that you were being asked to do or some of the guilt that was being laid on you isn't even a part of the true gospel and maybe you've been denying or you know resisting knowing Jesus your whole life based on a teaching that actually isn't even the true message of Jesus yeah. Yeah. right and so we want to encourage you to go and get to know who Jesus really is get to understand uh, the grace that was revealed through Christ and the truth that was revealed through Christ and then make a decision as to whether or not that's something you really want to surrender your life to, because I think that that the true essence of what God has revealed in Jesus is very different than so many of the messages that get thrown our way throughout our lives under the in the realm of Christianity. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really important to keep focused on Christ and to really understand who He is, and obviously the best way by starting with the Gospels and reading them yeah, through. Read them for yourself. Uh, you know, you got you have to read it to, for yourself. If you don't understand it yourself, or if you don't walk through, you know, say the book of John or one of the gospels and understand who Jesus is, then you will have no context to evaluate these other messages that are out there. Mm-hmm. And so that's really important. Yeah. So we hope that that gives you guys something to think about today. And we just want to say thanks for tuning in to the podcast, or if you're watching on video, we are really excited to hear from you and excited to dive into some deeper topics in the future. Thanks.